Number one mechanic on Heike Kovaliner's car. Stuart, you are on the front left wheel. Just talk me through what you do during That's right, indeed. I'm on the front left wheel on the pit stops and I operate the wheel gun, which means that um, I need to take the wheel nut off and put the wheel nut back on as quick as possible. I have uh, two people helping me on this wheel as well. So I have one person who will take the wheel off for me after I've removed the nut and one person who will put the fresh wheel back on for me before I do the nut back up. So that's it, this is a gun I use. So what are these, these guns obviously are pretty, I don't know, are they the latest models? These absolutely, these are uh, made by a company called Dino Pauli and they're um, the absolute latest model they make. Um, very high speed, lots of torque, so the aim is to get that nut off as quick as possible. So just tell me through what goes through your mind as the car's coming in at, is it 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour? and pulls up right next to where you're sort of crouched. How, how are you feeling? Yeah, that's right. Well, we've got, uh, we're, we're given about a minute's notice for the stop, more or less. It's a long so, time, right? Um, <laughs> we've got time to get prepared for it, but um, you know, when that moment comes, you're just focusing, looking down the pit lane, just focusing on that wheel nut, so you know you're going to hit it first time when it comes in. And what's the sort of distance? Like, is this where you would be sitting now during a pit stop? Is that how close you'd be? About this place, waiting, yeah, about that. Position waiting for the car, so you've got kind of about a foot between you and the car as it comes into the pit lane. You have to put your uh, total trust in the driver's ability to uh, stop in the right place. And when the car stops, the wheel gun just goes straight on. Is that up to you then to be accurate with where you push the wheel gun onto? Well, absolutely, as soon as the car stops, it's straight on with the wheel, with the socket onto the nut. Easy. Yeah. Do that again for me. But it all happens a lot quicker than that. And then you put your hand out as they and go. The hand goes out and the hand signal in the hand is signaled in to the uh, to the chief mechanic the next left in front of the car to raise the lollipop when he sees all the wheels are done, all the wheels are tight, and that that's the signal to let the car go. What happens when you have a bad stop? I mean, sometimes we see the guns getting jammed and, and, you know, do you panic or do you have to try and remain as calm as possible? Well, you have to try and uh, put it out of your head and then uh, go into the next pit stop with, uh, with basically feeling fresh about it again. You, you need to forget about it pretty quickly. And you have a spare, a spare um, wheel gun behind you, is that right? In case there's any problems, there's a spare gun behind and that's already loaded with a new wheel nut. So if you lose one of the wheel nuts or one of the wheel nuts across threads, there's one in the gun ready to go straight away. So just swap guns and get back on. Wicked, are you looking forward to Spa this weekend? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favourite services. Wicked, thanks very much, Steve.